Hey guys, it's Carrie, the Invisible Goddess, and today we're going to learn how to make a standard sized pillowcase using a serger. Here's what you'll need. You'll need your main fabric measuring 24 inches by the width of the fabric. Selvages. <laughs> From selvage to selvage, you'll need 24 inches. You will need a piece of trim that measures two and a half inches by the width of the fabric and you will need uh, the end piece which measures 12 inches by the width of the fabric. If you look closely, I am on a no spend year which means I'm making everything from my stash. So I have pieced together a piece of fabric in order to make it the proper length, this, uh, this trim piece is actually a fat quarter. You will also need a pair of scissors or a rotary cutter to cut out your fabric. I used a rotary cutter uh, and a mat. You'll need a pair of scissors to trim your ends and cut your threads. And you will also need either craft clips. I got these off of Amazon several years ago. or some pins. So let's get started. You'll also need your serger. So let's get started. The trick to making this pillowcase is the order in which you stack the fabrics. So you wanna start with your largest fabric, the 24 inches by width of fabric. You wanna start with that down first. On top of it, you want to place your trim fabric, which is two and a half inches, folded in half and ironed. You're going to put that on top of the fabric you have just placed down. Our next fabric our 12 inch by width of fabric, fabric folded in half and iron. You want to line that up with the edge also. This is the point where I am going to grab my clips. We're going to have to unclip them in just a bit, but it's worth it, I promise. So what I'm going to do, so after we place our second trim piece, we're going to peel back just the top layer of that fabric. And we're going to start clipping. And you can see I do have an extra bit of this trim fabric because of how I made it. And we did need it because right here is where I seamed. So we would have been just a little bit short. It's okay, I'll use it in another project. So we have everything either pinned if you're using pins or clipped if you're using clips like I am. So now we're going to have some fun. We're going to pick this entire piece up and flip it over. So with our large piece of fabric, we're going to bring it almost all the way up to the top, fold it in half. And then we're going to do that again. And then one more time. Okay, 
So now you can see this is where our uh, ironed edge is. And what we're going to do is take the rest of this fabric, fold it up over the fabric that we just rolled. And again, I'm going to turn this back around so I can see my clips and get you know a hold of them. Okay, so now we're just gonna readjust our clips. So I take the clip off. Make sure all of my fabric is still grabbed and put the clip back on and continue on down the line. So there we go. Our burrito is all ready to be sewn. But before we do that, I'm just gonna cut this edge off. And now we're ready to sew. We want to take the fabric to our serger and we're gonna serge a line right down where we clipped. So I made, I just made sure that all of my fabric is still lined up on the end because I did not put a clip there, I probably should have. So we have completed our burrito and now the fun starts. You want to you know, pick any edge that you want, reach in and start pulling this fabric that you uh, rolled up, start pulling that out. Okay, so this is the back side. You can see there are no raw edges showing. And here is our front side. So this is the outer edge. Right here is the outer edge of the pillowcase. Here's the trim piece and here's the body of the pillowcase. Let's go on back to the big table and get our clips ready. Next you want to fold your pillowcase in half with the pretty sides of the fabric on the inside. So this fabric, our, our larger piece of fabric, we want to make sure that the nice sides of that fabric are facing each other on the inside. Line everything up. I like to make sure that this very top corner is aligned because that's what we're going to see on the outside. So we align everything up and we want to put clips here And here. So we're going to take this back to the serger and we are going to serge from the top down and from this bottom corner over. I'm going to give myself a larger seam allowance than I did for this casing because I have to account for the selvages on both sides. I want to cut those off. You want to give yourself a decently long tail so you have it available to weave in here. So there you have it guys. 
go ahead and weave in your three ends. You'll have two on your bottom end and then one up here at the top. Weave those in and turn your pillowcase inside out and you're done. So it looks really nice since we took the extra time to really line up our seams. And there we go guys, our pillowcase is complete. You could iron your pillowcase at this point if you wanted to. I'm not going to, this is for a six and three quarter year old for her seventh birthday. So uh, she's not going to be too uh, upset if there's some wrinkles in it. Plus I'm gonna fold it to give it to her. So that's the finished project. Uh, you can see that I used a directional print that is not reading correctly, but as I said, I am doing a no spend year uh, and I'm committed to using only the materials that I have in my stash. So my little Star Wars fan is gonna be super happy with this. Thanks for sewing with me guys and until next time, Peace out, homies.